And a delegation from India will attend the canonization of Mother Teresa in less than two weeks at the Vatican. The priest who made her case for sainthood reflects on the Albanian nun's heroic faith. It wasn't easy being Mother Teresa. Okay? Just being a foundress and a leader of this 4,000 member worldwide organization would be challenging enough. But then just being Mother Teresa, go here, go there, the war there, speak there, people coming to see you, to ask you, you were, I was, you were always on, even on the airplane. And so <clears throat> you, we were probably assuming that, well, at least she's experiencing this wonderful union and constellation to keep her going. And then we discover that it's just heroic, uh, you know, faith, and she lives from 4.40 in the morning until late at night, and no siesta until the very last years, and uh, just you know, a heroic fidelity, loving, even though part of the trial was that she felt this, the, the spiritual poverty of our age, she was experiencing herself. If it's the greatest poverty in the world to be unloved, unwanted, uncared for, she's experiencing that with Jesus. Father Brian Kolodechik, a Canadian priest from Mother Teresa's order, is postulator of her cause. That's the person who presents a case for canonization to the Vatican. His new book, A Call to Mercy, Hearts to Love, Hands to Serve, brings together Mother Teresa's writings about the spiritual and corporal works of mercy. EWTN plans full coverage of Mother Teresa's canonization. We'll take you to the vigil, catechesis, canonization, and mass of thanksgiving. You'll see it all next month here on EWTN.